All right. Welcome back to part two of Sam's Summer Shed. Great is thy faithfulness. Okay. Now we're up to the chorus portion. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Now, if you're looking at your sheet music, as we are, rather, I keep saying sheet music, but at the hymnal music uh, out of the African American Heritage Hymnal. stop right there that is this entire top line right here let's go that again go through it again I should say now quoting here again can stay within the home keys but because we're looking at the scale notes each one of these scale notes has a set of chords associated with it so we're here, you may think that this would be A flat, it could be C. Because it's, it was in that scale, even though it's in the E flat major scale, it has its own set of chords, either C, A flat, um, so many different chords you can find within that. And I may do a, a session on that this year, of how many chords can you find in one, one note. But for this purpose, we have our grade is, our home chord is our B flat. And then we switch over to the A flat. Now again, there are our home chords. B flat, A flat, and E flat. Great is thy, uh, what was I? There it is. Now you see, I'm hanging with that with that B flat bass. That's my own personal preference. It could be I just like to hear that note in there at times. Here's that change. And we're gonna use that um I want to say a C diminished, a D flat diminished. Into an F minor. Now you're saying, well, why am I throwing all those changes in it? Because you have that license. It doesn't have to be always home keys. This helps to bring out the song. The more chords you know, the more of, a, I'll say, a chord palette that you can pick from. I've taken the time over the years to invest in just about every chord book I could find in the store just so I can get an idea how many chords are there. There's so many you, that you can pick from. We're going to get there, though. So, great is thy. We'll give you this one. Keep it basic. C chord. And I'm going to give you this uh, extension of a chord. That's the full chord there. But we're going to omit that. E major there and put it in the left hand. Uh, let's see. There we go. This is another technique that I like to use. I like to expand chords. Helps to bring out a little more airiness to the song versus just having everything just straight. I like to expand it. Great is thy. See, now I've added a bass on the bottom. I could have it full there. And then add more to.
let's go over that again. Great is, great is. See, I'm holding this. I'm giving you three different variations, three different variations so far. Again, I like to hang on that B flat. Great is. flat bass. This time we're going to resolve to the E flat. Now you can go straight C or do a, a C seventh, which is into your D flat diminish. Again, inversions or just mimic that chord. All right, let's continue. Morning by morning's new mercies I see. Now here I go different ways. I like to drop down chords. Morning by mornings. It could be a, a straight B flat or with a seventh. C diminish back into that B flat seventh. New um, B flat diminish. Yep. Now we're back in that F chord again. That's a lot. Let me break that down real slow. First morning, B flat to B flat on your left hand, D, F, belly on top, B flat, A, G flat, A on the left hand, E flat, G flat, A, C, A flat, E flat, A flat left hand, D, F, B flat, D on the right hand. If you don't have this reach, just shorten it. That's where we are now. G, E flat, G, G, B flat. And up on top, melody, E flat. Morning by morning. New. G flat, D flat. G flat. E flat, G flat, A, C. But we're changing keys. F, C, F, B flat. Excuse me, F, B flat, D. Straight E flat, an F7 inversion, and end on our home chord, which is B flat. B flat, F, B flat, D, F, B flat. So, what did I just give you there? I gave you my turnaround for that versus giving you the very generic ones. The turnaround that I've always used for the past, well, now let's not count the years now, but f for a few years. <laughs> sort of bridge it out right there. Now, all I have needed, all I have needed, thy hands have probed. Back in the E flat scale. Thy hand hath provided. 
-hmm. Once you know where the melody is, you find those home chords that go along with that, and then you fill it in. I'm using an A, excuse me, F minor. It just colors the chord differently. Then continue. And as you can see, we still got that A flat home chord. Actually, what we look at that as an A, da, da, dum, a flat um, six. That's it. Six. I'd have to look at it and just pivot over to great is that G flat diminished by faithfulness. We're going to just do ger generic Lord on to me. Wow, a lot that is. Review those chords. Um, I've called out some of them so you can actually see how they are. They're formed. I'm not doing anything that's out of the ordinary. Everything is, if you look at a, at a, at a basic chord, it's just deconstructed with a melody and adding an actual bottom to it. We're coming to that on our next part three. coming next. So review and to get ready for part three.